Hello, my name is Laura Lovey and welcome to my music theory video. Within this video I will be discussing intervals, scales and chords and how we can play them on guitar. An interval is the distance between two notes. The distance is usually measured from the lowest note to the highest note. Here is an example of this. Here we see on the 5th fret of the E string the note A and on the 8th fret of the E string the note C. Between these notes there's 3 frets. This indicates an interval. We can see this clearly on the diagram. Next I'm going to demonstrate an interval. So like I said before that's the distance between two notes. An interval that we're looking at today is between the notes A and C. So first we have A and then C. Next I'm going to discuss the half step or also known as the minor second. This interval is considered the smallest measurable interval that we will play on guitar. This interval is a semitone and is defined as the interval between two adjacent notes in a 12 tone scale. This is an example of how you play a half step on guitar. So I'm going to demonstrate a half step. So we've got the notes F and F sharp. And that's your half step. The whole step is equal to two half steps. The whole step is also known as the major second. The distance between the first two notes and a major scale is a whole step, like we see here, the first note F and the second note G. So this indicates a whole step. I'm now going to demonstrate a whole step. So we're looking at the notes of F and G for this one. A scale is a series of single notes. Scales are defined by the number of notes that compromises them and by the series of intervals it takes to build them. Firstly, I will discuss the C major scale. The major scale is probably one of the most important scales to understand. The C major scale contains the notes of C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C, like we see here on the diagram. I will now play a demonstration of the C major scale on guitar. Uh, and then backwards. Okay, so I'll just play it a little bit slower now. I will now discuss the A minor scale. Like the major scale, this scale also has seven notes. The intervals that make up the minor scale are a whole tone, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Let's examine the minor scale. So it contains the notes of A, B, C, D, E, F, G and A. I will now demonstrate how you play the A major scale on guitar. I will now discuss the C major pentatonic scale first position. I will now discuss the C major pentatonic scale. A major pentatonic scale is formed by choosing the first, second, third, fifth and sixth notes of a major scale. So therefore the C major pentatonic of the five note scale includes the key of C, D, E, G and A. We can see this method being used in the diagram above. I will now demonstrate the C major pentatonic 
scale on guitar. Lastly, I will be discussing chords. Within this section, I will cover the C major chord and the A minor chord. The major chord consists of three notes, a root note, a third and a fifth. The note C is the first, the note E is the third and the note G is the fifth. We can see this on the diagram. I'm just going to demonstrate this and show you where you would put your fingers on the fretboard in order to make this chord. So firstly you would put your first finger on the first fret of the B string. Your second finger would go on the second fret of the D string. And lastly your third finger would go on the A string, third fret. And all together that would create your C major chord. going to discuss the A minor chord. The A minor chord which forms the root of the minor scale is made up of the notes A, C and E, the first, third and fifth notes of the key of A. The root of the chord is the A note, the third of the chord is the C note and the fifth of the chord is E flat. I will now demonstrate how to play the A major chord on guitar. Talk about where we would play our fingers in order to play the correct notes on the fretboard to make the chord. So firstly you would put your first finger on the B string, first fret. Your second finger would go on the second fret of the G string. And your third finger would go right above that on the D string, second fret. And playing that all together, that creates the A minor chord. This is one of my favourite chords, as I feel that it's really powerful and it can create a really great sound when played. We've now came to the end of my music theory video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.